every vote counts here for the largest party in Morocco's parliament. But the Conservative Justice and Development Party has to reckon with a new and unusual system of allocating votes that the party's leaders say is specifically designed to reduce their influence. Seats in local and national assemblies will be divided by the number of registered voters, regardless of whether or not they cast ballots. Unfortunately, the aim of this law, which was passed by opposition parties and those in coalition with us, is to minimize the Justice and Development Party. That's why we rejected it from the outset. It's a strange, a very strange law. Its aim is to limit the PJD's chance of winning. The biggest challenge for all the political parties is persuading people to vote. One major survey suggests 64% of Moroccans won't bother. And the real power still lies in the hands of King Mohammed VI. He takes all the major strategic economic decisions. The king allowed constitutional reform after the Arab Spring 10 years ago. Political parties were given a greater role in policy, but Mohammed VI appoints the government and hires or fires cabinet ministers. The new way of calculating how seats are allocated will stop one party dominating, which is what happened in the two previous elections when the PJD achieved important results. Now the door will be open for smaller parties. The Constitutional Court has also ruled that this new law doesn't go against the Constitution. The second largest party in Parliament is the Authenticity and Modernity Party. Founded by a former advisor to the king, it's viewed by diplomats and the local press as being close to the palace. Its candidate for mayor in Marrakesh rejects suggestions that the new law is unfair. You can't stop Morocco from trying its own experiment. Don't we have the right to do our own experiment? Or do we have to always worry about what the Europeans will say? every time we're taking a step forward in democracy with our own tools. The new system is expected to result in coalitions made up of many parties. That could make governments weaker. And it's being brought in during the pandemic, when the king is consolidating his power by taking all major decisions from buying vaccines to economic support packages. Bernard Smith, Al Jazeera, Marrakesh.